welcome to baskar rao vankalapati physics now we discuss about projectile projectile means if a body has uniform velocity along horizontal and uniform acceleration along vertical direction it is called as projectile the path of the projectile is called trajectory the shape of the trajectory is known as parabola if in case a body is projected into air with a certain velocity at an angle theta with the horizontal where theta is other than 90 degrees then the body is said to be in two dimension motion like that parabola so here now consider a plane x y so now at point of projection o a body is projected into air with initial velocity u at an angle theta with the horizontal so the path followed by the body is like that o a b where o is the point of projection and a is the maximum height reached by the body and b is the land the body on earth so now we discuss and we consider the motion of the body along arbitrary path so now after some time a body reach the point p here p the body is in two dimension motion like that horizontal and vertical components so that the velocity split into two rectangular components so that along horizontal direction u x equal to u cos theta and along vertical components u y equal to u sin theta so according to vector sum we can write velocity u equal to u x i plus u y j where u x equal to u cos theta u y equal to u sin theta so u cos theta l take along the horizontal direction u x equal to u cos theta here along vertical direction u y equal to u sin theta so now we want find out the maximum height time of flight and range so now we discuss the motion of the body any arbitrary point path so like that in horizontal direction there will be no change in velocity of the body like that along any arbitrary point the body of motion along horizontal u x equal to u cos theta here also u x equal to u cos theta here also u x equal to u cos theta why because there is no gravitational influence along horizontal direction so that any arbitrary point the velocity of the body horizontally is equal to u x equal to u cos theta like that it is constant uh, and in case in vertically upward motion we consider that a body of motion uh, a body of velocity u x u y equal to u sin theta there going on up there will be decrease the velocity why because there um, they react the gravitational force on it so that gradually decrease decrease and uh, finally the velocity of the uh, body at a point uh, v y equal to zero where is the final velocity equal to zero that uh, from that point to projection is known as maximum height so that here at a point a along uh, vertical components v y equal to zero but in no horizontal direction u x equal to u cos theta only components vertical components zero but horizontal components not equal to zero any orbit point horizontal velocity is constant but in vertically going in vertically upward the body of motion will be going on decrease and finally reach the final velocity v equal to zero where is the final velocity zero from that point to projection place and I like that ground is known as maximum height now we find out the maximum height take this some motion parameter from the graph so that uh, uh, along vertical direction like that too, in y direction the initial velocity of the body is known as ui equal to u sin theta 
and the final velocity of the body vy equal to zero so that a according to statement yeah, we know that already point of projection we know that a equal to minus g and uh, s equal to maximum height h maximum now we want find out the maximum height we select the equation of motion from the suitable uh, motion parameters here relation is we need v square minus u square equal to 2as where v is the zero so zero square minus u is the u sin theta along vertical components so we can write and uh, u sin theta whole square that equal to a is nothing but minus g s is nothing but h maximum so minus minus get cancel we can write h maximum equal to u square sin square theta by 2g so the relation for maximum height u square sin square theta by 2g note now we want find out the time of flight time of flight is the time taken uh, to reach the ground from projection place so like that uh, uh, from the o2 traveling the body from o2 a and b finally to reach the point b the time taken to reach the point b the is known as time of flight so now we consider that uh, along vertical components uh, initial velocity u y equal to u sin theta and uh, acceleration a equal to minus g and uh, s equal to like that uh, uh, our relation s equal to we know that where initial position of the body is here o and final position of the body is b here initial and final position both are in the same plane so that displacement equal to zero so once more in a vertical components velocity ui equal to u sin theta and a equal to minus g anywhere the point of projection from point to uh, arbitrary point to anywhere on the arbitrary point the acceleration always act downward so we can write a equal to minus g here s equal to zero why because initial and final position are play placed on the same plane so that displacement equal to zero so the time now time t equal to capital t capital t indicate the time of flight time of flight means total uh, time taken to reach the ground from projection to point of landing so that t equal to capital t so now we take the relation from the uh, following data our relation is suitable s equal to ut plus half a t square where s equal to zero u is nothing but along vertical direction u sin theta and cap t is nothing but capital t plus half a is like that minus g into capital t square we can write the formula uh, relation u sin theta t equal to plus and minus 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 is uh, written after equal to positive so that of g t square t t get cancelled now we want the time t t equal to we can write 2 u sin theta by g so the time taken to reach the ground from the point of projection of the body is known as time of flight like this now we want find out the range range is the distance between point of projection to land place one like that ob ob indicate the range now we want find out the range so now we consider uh, horizontal motion velocity ux equal to u cos theta and uh, time of flight to reach the ground from the point of projection to ground uh, like that time of flight time of flight already we prove that t equal to 2u sin theta by g uh, and uh, along horizontal direction ax equal to 0 so now we want the relation for range but uh, displacement s is like that r r is the distance between ob ob is like that range so we select the formula s equal to ut plus half at square 
so s is like that r and u is along horizontal direction u cos theta and t is like the 2u sin theta by g plus of a is nothing but 0 into t square 0 in something is like 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 that 0 so we can write uh, finally r equal to u into u u square 2 sin theta and cos theta uh, by g so this also can be written as from the sin 2 theta where sin 2 theta equal to 2 sin theta into cos theta already we know that from the relation that r equal to we can write u square 2 sin theta cos theta replaced by sin 2 theta that by g so this is the relation per range now now we discuss about the path followed by the body like that parabola we prove that so here the we observe that the body in two dimension along horizontal and along vertical components so that uh, for along uh, horizontal direction now we consider that along horizontal direction the initial velocity of the body is we can write u x equal to u cos theta s is like that x along horizontal direction anywhere x x component so that s equal displacement x and a x equal to along horizontal direction acceleration equal to 0 and time t equal to t so from the motion we can write the and uh, take the relation s equal to ut plus of a t square so where s is uh, nothing but x u is initial velocity of the body along horizontal direction u cos theta into t plus of a in a is nothing but zero so that zero into t square so zero in something is zero so that uh, uh, 0 that we can write x equal to u cos theta t now not uh, depend on time like uh, shape of the uh, path so that time is not needed time can be written as uh, t equal to x by u cos theta so this is the relation for uh, horizontal direction now we consider along the vertical direction so along the vertical direction so the initial velocity of the body is u i equal to u sin theta already we know that s is nothing but displacement along vertical direction take y direction so that displacement is can be written as y and uh, a y is along vertical direction acceleration equal to minus g already we know that time t equal to from the relation um, uh, neglect the time not uh, need independent of time for the parabola so we can write t equal to x by u cos theta so in terms now we select the formula from equation of motion s equal to ut plus of a t square so that s equal to ut plus of a t square so s is like that y u is nothing but along vertical direction u sin theta and t is like that x by u cos theta plus of a is nothing but minus g into t t is nothing but x by u cos theta whole square so now we simplify the formula u u get cancelled y equal to sin theta by cos theta equal to tan theta into x minus plus in minus minus of g x square by u square cos square theta so now consider this some points let uh, tan theta equal to a and uh, g by 2 u square cos square theta equal to b let us consider now we can write the above expression y equal to a, tan theta replaced by constant a into x minus uh, g by 2 u square cos square theta is like that b 
into x square. So the relation is indicate the parabola. So now if a body is um, vertically upward sum with well, in initial velocity u at an angle theta, the body of path like that parabola, uh, we already we proved that y equal to ax minus bx squared is indicate the parabola expression. Now our question is show that maximum height equal to range by 4 at an angle of 45 degrees. So now uh, let us consider a body is project some velocity u at an angle 45 degrees with the horizontal. So now we uh, uh, find out the h maximum equal to r by 4. Already we know that range relation we know that r equal to u square sin 2 theta by g. So we can write and apply that formula u square sin 2 into theta is like that according to statement given 45 degrees by g. So that we can write u square sin 2 into 45 90 by g. So from the relation we know that sin 90 equal to 1 so that we can write r equal to u square by g because sin 90 equal to 1. So uh, another relation we know that h maximum height h maximum equal to u square sin square theta by 2g. Here we can apply the angle theta equal to 45 degrees that u square sin 45 degrees whole square by 2g. So that u square by sin 45 is like is nothing but 1 by root 2. So that 1 by root 2 whole square by 2g. So now we simplify that we get the answer u square by 1 by root 2 whole square is nothing but 1 by 2 and 2 4 by u square by 4g. So that h maximum equal to u square by 4g. Here already prove that u square by g is like that uh, r. So now that this one is the equation 1, this one is the 2. Now equation 1 is substitution in 2. We get the answer h maximum equal to u square by g is replaced by r. So that r by 4. So finally we get the answer h maximum equal to r by 4. So this is for the first year student in intermediate public examination, uh, we, uh, most important uh, topic.